A special panel is underway right now to address recent racism and bullying issues in our schools. The event is meant to give the community a chance to voice concerns. Well, it has happened again. Two local students arrested for bringing BB guns on campus. Well, tonight we go one on one with presidential candidate and former Vice President Joe Biden. Biden made his first campaign stop in Nevada since announcing his bid for president. Well, today, scientists showed off the first picture of a black hole. Now, Albert Einstein's theories predicted the existence of these mysterious bodies, but now we've actually seen one. Well, from fights in schools to students bringing guns onto campus, the goal of a bill making its way through the state capitol is simple. Make Nevada schools safer. A llamas on the loose. A pair of escaped llamas are back home after just taking a stroll in the north part of town. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle shared their new baby boy with the rest of the world today at Windsor Castle. The Duke and Duchess have also revealed their son's name. The woman charged in her three-year-old son's death from 1986 was back in court today. A sometimes contentious Senate committee hearing as Attorney General William Barr was in the hot seat answering questions about the Mueller report today. Thanks for staying with us at 6.30. I'm Christiane Klein. An NHP trooper lucky to be alive tonight after he was hit by an oncoming vehicle on Boulder Highway overnight. That crash was caught on body camera. Education funding has dominated the headlines for the past few months as lawmakers are searching for the money to fully fund a number of proposals from Governor Sisolak. Well, back in Nevada, we've had a little bit of everything the last few days. Monday, hail and rain. It's true. Yesterday it was the wind. Today we had cooler temperatures. And we start with breaking news out of McCarran Airport, where Spirit Airlines plane has been evacuated prior to takeoff. The flight was scheduled to leave this morning and head to Minneapolis. Spirit Airlines says passengers reported smelling fumes resembling oil shortly after boarding the plane. About 15 people on board requested medical care. One of those passengers was taken to the hospital. The aircraft has been taken out of service for inspection. The airline is working to get travelers to their destination on other flights. A manhunt is underway to find the driver accused of intentionally striking a Metro police officer with his car. This happened as the officer tried to make a traffic stop north of downtown early this morning. Housing prices in the Las Vegas Valley ticked up last month. That's according to the latest numbers from the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors. The median price for a single family home in Southern Nevada was an even $300,000 in March. And that's up about $20,000 from the same time last year. That is a far cry from the depth of the recession when the housing market hit rock bottom in 2012. The median price was $118,000 back then. We're sharing stories of women who helped shape Las Vegas from a place dedicated to preserving our city's culture. Las Vegas's most iconic sign may not be among those here at the Neon Museum, but that's because it is still standing high over the boulevard six decades after it was designed by artist Betty Willis. We're joined once again by Cynthia Bear Warso, Director of Curation and Education here at the Neon Museum. And Cynthia, the Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas sign was just one of many contributions by Betty Willis. That's correct, and we're so proud to have pieces in our collection from Betty. Uh, one of the most important are the letters from the 1955 Moulin Rouge, and uh, we also have a piece from the Del Mar Motel. A second day of violence in Venezuela as the embattled president and opposition leader both call on supporters to take to the streets. The opposition's Juan Guaido has called for a military uprising, but only a small group of soldiers broke ranks. America and 50 other nations recognize Guaido as the leader of Venezuela. Now, the U.S. says President Nicolas Maduro's regime is being propped up by Russia and Cuba. The White House has called a meeting with military leaders, national security officials, and the Secretary of State to discuss the next steps. Meanwhile, May Day protests are being held around the world, and in some cities like Paris, they've turned violent. Security forces deployed drones to keep an eye on crowds full of activists who joined union workers to reject President Emmanuel Macron's economic policies. More than 100 hardline protesters were arrested. International Workers' Day, commonly known as May Day, is a national holiday in more than 80 countries celebrating the working class and laborers.